confronted with this stranger in the mirror and I realize that it's me, but it's not me. You know, these are things that make people feel uncomfortable. It's a very ugly part of history. The series itself is sort of based on my experiences growing up. I just remember these projects where we would have to discuss our heritage and I would all the time bring up the fact that I know that I have relatives that are from Scotland and Ireland in my family. And a lot of the time, uh, some of the kids that I went to school with thought that I was actually lying. It just kind of hit me one day that if I were just to do something as simple as like change the color of my skin, how would my face change? The first time that I did the makeup and did the full transformation, there was this moment where, you know, I finished putting on the facial makeup and the foundation and everything, and then I put on the wig, and for whatever reason, there's something about the hair that is very transformative. I do find the terms black and white problematic, and the reason is because they're incredibly simplistic. You don't talk about the different nuances within identity and race itself. It also just generalizes people and just reduces them to merely a skin color. I, I don't expect to change the world with what it is that I'm doing, but you know, it's like if I can if I can cause someone to think a bit more deeply for a couple minutes about what it is that they're looking at. I feel that, you know, like I've, I've done a lot more than I ever thought I could.